Hey everybody, I decided to um, do a video of a journal spread that I got some new products from Sweet and Sassy Stamps, um, Shiplap Background Stamp, and as you can see I've already used this a few times um, but this is the mixed up stencil which I really like because it actually has some words in it but then it just has like some numbers and letters and so you can do it randomly or you can actually spell some things out and this is the to-do list stamp set um, so I just got those recently and I wanted to do something with all or either of them um, and I'd like to use my get messy journal um, for that I'm using for get messy right now there's um, well there's been different seasons this year so I have I made my own little tabs uh, for the seasons and um, the season of okay just finished up, but I'm actually not sure, or we're finishing up the season of okay. I'm, I'm not even sure, but um, I'm still going to do something with the season of okay. I'm not sure what the next season is, but I'm very miserable today. So as I wrote here, <laughs> I'm not okay. Um, this was for um, an actual challenge. I never do anything like this, but um, doing kind of a, you know, mismatched face was the challenge. So um, that's where she came in, that girl there. But I am going to do something. I don't know what. I have no clue. I just want to use something in here and I want to do it in my season of okay journal um, or in my get messy journal in the season of okay sorry I'm confusing myself my house is quiet everyone is in bed and um, I'm just really needing to do some art because I'm just miserable I don't know why I wish I wasn't but I am so and if you notice um, my two-year-old decided she wanted me to have tattoos. I clearly have my own, but she wanted me to have glittery, um, a donut and ice cream. So if you're wondering, that's what that is. So now all the world can see those lovely glittery fake tattoos until they rub off. She was very excited to give everyone in the house glittery tattoos. So, um, I honestly don't have a clue what I'm going to do, but I am going to try to use up some scraps. So, let's just slap down some Mod Podge and some scraps. I'm just going to randomly talk uh, because I'm just, just going to randomly talk. I don't know what my mood was today, why I was in a mood, but my two-year-old was also in quite a mood, so I don't know if she was feeding off of me. I wasn't in a mood actually before that, so <laughs> I would like to blame some of her for my mood, which is, I guess, not right. I shouldn't blame other people for my mood, but she was very miserable today, off and on, and it was just really testing my my patience and I don't know. <clears throat> I'm sure you all get where I'm coming from because sometimes we just get in moods. We don't know why. It's not like we like it. It's not like we like to be grumpy, but it happens. 
and I admit earlier <clears throat> I did put her on the couch with my iPad to watch some videos of like Peppa Pig or something so that I could do some art earlier today because I just needed to do something that was relaxing and was a pick-me-up for me so and I'm not sleepy I think I had caffeine too late today so I'm not sleepy and like I said the house is quiet my dogs are put away everyone is in bed <clears throat> So it's the perfect opportunity for me to do a YouTube video for you all. So basically you just get to journal along with me as I just mess around. I have a lot of mark making papers here from I think it was a fodder school lesson and I just have so much stuff all over my desk it's like an absolute mess I really should clean it but yet I don't maybe one of these days I'll clean it I'm just off camera over here looking, rummaging through, rummaging through a huge stack of papers that I really should be cleaning off of my desk. There's just stuff everywhere over here. But I'm sure it's not just me, right? I'm sure I am one of many that have a messy desk. I'm not one that um, has to clean up all the time. I'm a fairly messy, messy artist. And I don't mind. That's okay. But, you know, it's soon time to clean it up. Um, I think I'm going to go with my, if I can open it, oh my gosh. Okay, forget it. Forget it. We're not going with the golden because I can't open it. So we are going to go with the folk art gesso. And I'm just going to squirt some on here. Clean it off with a used baby wipe. Used as in with art. Certainly not diaper changing because that would be disgusting. I just like to go over some of these edges with the gesso and some of that background, um, the background page. I didn't like the image that was there. So I like to just cover that up. that off um okay let me think here a moment while I use my dryer okay 
I would like to use this stencil, but I'm trying to think if I want to put something down first, like another layer of something before which I think I do. I'm going to dip into some coffee here and just kind of, even though this here is already coffee collaged papers, I'm pretty sure my two-year-old daughter was, if when she wants to paint, I let her paint with coffee because that's just easier. <laughs> not toxic and um, it's just it works out and I can use it as collage papers okay I really don't feel like taking forever to do that so let's just dab um, I am going to, I feel like I want to use something drastic, something bold, but I'm not sure how this is going to go because I'm not very good at lightly, um, I'm often not very good at lightly putting the paint on the brush that it works well in the stencil, if that makes any sense. Um, when you use a stencil with a paintbrush and, and acrylic paint, you're not supposed to get too much of paint on your brush so that you can just lightly go over the stencil, but I'm not very good at that, so we're just kind of going to see how this goes. I really don't know, but we shall see. Ooh, I definitely enjoy that. I definitely do. So let's try down here in this corner. It's always nice to balance. If I have something up in the left top corner, I like to bring it down to the right. Maybe I'll add just a little something something here. And maybe there. Beautiful. I feel like I should do something in the center here. I don't normally do this much, but I really like it. And with this Payne's Gray, it looks fantastic. Um. Yeah, I dig that a lot. Okay. Um, because I don't like to waste my paint and I really don't feel like digging something out to wipe off, I'm just gonna shove it back in the tube. And it will wipe off on this. Okay. 
I really like that just as it is right there um, but we need we need some color or something in here hmm. I don't know I'll think about that I like to just use scraps random scraps and of paper and um, just put some paint on there and then I'll use it like clearly you can see I have this done up and I'll use that later for collaging I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this mustard color in here I'm not really a yellow yellow gal and that wasn't dry but that's all right it added a little something I'm just randomly swiping the paint around okay once again too much paint too much paint I don't know why I do that I'm not good with my amount of paint you know just like the chip to dip ratio come on you know where I'm going with this you always have more chips and not enough dip or you always have way too much dip and not enough chips I can never get that ratio right never it's frustrating minutes. I need another color, but I don't know what. Hmm. Maybe that will be exciting. How about, oh geez, making a mess. How about we use a little bit of pink and put it in this is the grunge grid stencil from sweet and sassy stamps as well um, I certainly use a lot of their stuff I am on their design team so I have a lot of their wonderful products and I just love all of my things that I have. So you'll often see me using them. Hmm. Okay, let's go up here. I hope you all had a good day today and not miserable like me that maybe you did something fun or exciting or your weather is nice. It's been windy here. I wish it would just get warm. I'm in Pennsylvania, so it is, it's like the weather doesn't want to make up its mind, whether it wants to be cold or nice. It's a little bit, it's like a tease. Like, just get warm and stay warm, please. I really want to paint my front doors. My front doors right now are um, kind of like a hunter green color, which I do not like. Um, I might like it for paint, but not for my house. <laughs> um, and my home is brick, so... I really would like black doors, my doors to be black, and I have the paint and I'm all ready to do it. I just need the weather to actually be nice. Okay, I'm not sure. I'm kind of feeling like we're a little busy. We're a little busy here. 
his ear than what I prefer. So let's slap on some, some gesso. Just to add some more, some more white and kind of lessen, lessen the busyness a little bit. And add a little bit of that bright, brighter white in here again. Good, good. Let me go over this a little bit. Okay, now let me see here. Um, I think we need some florals. I'm just off camera over here. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. Sweet and Sassy, of course. And it is called Encouraging Peonies. And I just love it. I love the peonies. They're just gorgeous. And they have some really pretty leaves here. So I'm going to just try and see if I can stamp Some black leaves just in here in kind of the blank spots, the empty spaces. Add a little something. Oh, that one didn't go very well, but whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Keep sliding off the, sliding off. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm like incredibly boring. I'm gonna hit this with my hair dryer quickly. I just want it to dry because I'm thinking about, if you can hear me, I hope you can. I'm thinking about um, doing some watercolor in the leaves. So I wanted it to be, yes, I let my brushes sit in my nasty water. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes that happens. So I think I'm going to just go over these a bit with some, some watercolor. Way too much on there but you know it, it dries lighter so it's fine I'm not picky 
not a perfect for I can't even talk I'm not a perfectionist by any means so I'm going to just dab off a little bit I kind of feel like I want I want that green, this green. I don't know what green. I don't know, but I'm kind of feeling like this green is almost looking too brown. Like I wanna have some brighter green in there. And as you can see, I don't really color in the lines very well, and that's on purpose. I just kind of dab it on because I don't mind if there's white spaces left in the in the leaves or if my watercolor went outside of the lines, like that's okay. That's definitely too, too green. Like that is okay for me. Now for others, maybe not. Maybe it won't be okay, but for me it's okay. Season of okay right here. That's the one I'm working in. I got too much, but all right. Maybe what we shall do is add some some green watercolor just throughout. Add a little bit more color. I definitely think the green added something good to this spread. I was feeling like um, I wasn't really sure about the about the colors. Now look what I just did. I pulled all that up. I wasn't really sure, but it's good now. I like it. All right, put that away. This one still looks very yellow, mustard color, but that's okay. Um, now, let's see what words. Well, I'm miserable today, so what would be the opposite? Or what would be some advice for me? Hmm. Make peace. Make peace is a good one because I am very grumbly. When I'm miserable, I'm often very grumbly that I, I'm not making peace. I'm complaining or something and I, I really need to learn to hold my tongue, but I struggle greatly with that. And I can be harsh and cruel with my words and I don't wanna be, but sometimes I am and I say things that I shouldn't, and words can cut like a knife. Let's 
so I really need to think before I speak. Would be a good idea for most of us, huh? I can't cut a straight line to save my life either. Just throw my stuff to the side. Just off to the side. I'm just trying to kind of audition some some stuff here and see what I like. See what I like. I kind of like that, like that there, over here, and I left some space because I'm thinking that I want to, this is like a Payne's Gray. I'm thinking that I want to staple some, some sorry ribbon on here. Like so. I like that, that looks good. So we'll staple that, I'll staple it in an X, make sure it holds there, holds there well. And gosh, look at my brush. This is my Mod Podge brush and it has clearly been used hard always want to make sure your ink is dry <laughs> because that would have really ripped if I, not literally ripped, I mean ripped as in stank, as in sucked, as in that would not have been good. I like it hanging off. So let's do that. And hopefully it doesn't actually tear or anything over there, but it will be safe. Maybe I'll throw a staple in underneath here. I think I will. If I can. Okay, I'm gonna hide a staple. Under there at the end. And now I made it kind of crinkly. But it's all right. And I do love these strings just kind of having a mind of their own and just ending up on the page. There's something I do enjoy about that. So let's add these little strings over here. If they'll actually stay. Okay, something's on there. So that just needs to dry. That needs to dry.
I'm debating. I'm debating doing some some black splatters. So hopefully this will work out because sometimes it doesn't. Cover that up so we don't get splatters on that because that would not be good. I don't want that. Okay. Almost done. I feel like this ended up a lot cheerier than what my actual mood is. Which is a good thing. I feel like maybe the Payne's Gray was kind of how my mood is or was. And adding some color and some leaves just to try to brighten it up and make it more cheerful. It's kind of like how doing this art, this spread, has made me feel more cheerful. And it's given me some peace, calmed me down. So there it is. Take that out and show you a little bit up close what it looks like. I hope you've enjoyed my video um, and thank you so much for watching it. Have a great day.